how you use wholesale and your real estate team to leverage listings and get as much business as you can through utilizing the wholesale and the MLS. So basically what I did is I wanted to find out a price that he'd be okay with netting. Uh, I'll pass that over to my team member. He'll give him a call, run the comps, meet with him on Monday at one o'clock. Andrew will talk to him as well, put in a place a contract for 175. We'll uh, put that into the wholesale group and through our dispositions team and hopefully get it sold one way or the other. So not only did that get us a listing, but it also gave us a wholesale deal as well. Okay, so you have, um, so you need to get this sold before you can move to Heber Overguard. What's the, do you have a price point in which you're looking at right now that you want to get for the house? I don't know. I know it's got to be worth, I don't know, at least for what everything's going around here, it's got to be worth around at least 200000 At least 200000 Okay. And let me just confirm, so. let me just confirm the details. It's a site-built home, correct? Um, No, it's it's not an actual home. It has additions that are. It has a like an old mobile home that they built around. Okay. Okay. What year is the mobile home? And it's a... Uh, 78 or 79, I know it's got copper wire, so it's not the, you know, it's not the older one that, that like, that they don't finance for and all that, you know? So it is financeable then? As far as I know, yeah, because I know in, like, 77 and older, that's when they didn't do it because they had aluminum wire and things like that in them. Exactly. So you know what, yeah, so it's a 1979, 854 square feet. In 85, they had some mobile home improvements. So I'm looking at the county and it says 79 at this point in time uh, for it. Um, so that's good. Did you purchase it cash or did you take out a loan? Uh, no, we, we put cash down and then we still owe like, I don't know, like maybe 16 or 17,000 or something. Okay. Are, did you buy it directly from the owner or did, did you get a loan for it? The reason yeah, I'm asking is... Owner. Yeah. Okay. The reason I'm asking is I'm trying to see if it's a twice moved property or not. So, um, cause you came from one of my websites, you were looking for an investor to buy the property from you. Um, so we have two routes that we work, right? My real estate team. So we have a wholesale division where we work directly with, uh, investors. So we have 1300 investors that we work with, obviously about 10% of those. So 130 of those are the true buyers. And then my real estate team, can also put it on the MLS for you, market it, and we can net you a certain amount. Did you have an idea of what you wanted to net after closing commissions and whatnot? That way we can kind of reverse engineer this and see what you need to get. Oh, like as far as pay it off and, and all the closing and everything? Yeah. what we, Everybody has a number that they want to walk away with, right? So what's the check in hand that you want to have that number on it? That way I can even see if it's something that we can do for you. Okay. Yeah. I haven't even thought about that part as far as, you know, what it's going to cost me to do all that, but I don't know, like, oh, dude, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Can you call me back? Because, you know, this place is a lot more than just, uh, just that mobile home too. You know that, right? Well, you got the two sheds in the back, I see. Um, so you have that. Yeah, but it's, it's got a, it's got a complete built over roof. Okay. And then I've added two rooms under that that weren't there originally. Oh, you did? Okay. And it, yeah, and it all it, it had a big, huge, the whole back all the way across was an add-on, like, I don't know, I guess it's like 10 foot wide. Okay. So let the me length, just... The length of the, the mobile home, and it's, I mean, it's, it's something that has to kind of be looked at. I did a bunch of work inside. It's it's pretty nice, got all kind of green ceiling. Okay. Let and, me see. you know, it's a nice place, but... What if you could? <laughs> what if you could net one seventy five after commissions and closing costs? Would that be something that would work for you, or what are you thinking with that? Uh, that would probably work for me. Yeah. So you're one seventy. Thinking when you asked me that, but yeah, I more. But yeah, I think I could do that. Okay, so one seventy five is what you'd be looking at. Um, do you have time this week where we could uh, get together, one of my team members, and meet with you and see what we could do about? getting it on the MLS, listing it, right? So the two avenues that we do is we have my real estate team come out, we can put it on the open market, and then we have a wholesale contract 
where we get it out to our cash buyers through our investors that nece- aren't necessarily looking at MLS. Um, so you're going to uh-huh. get mo- you're going to get two avenues of getting the most amount of eyes on it as you can. And if you're okay with the okay. 175 net on there, then I think that's something we can do for you. Yeah, I think so. Um, okay. When did you say this week? Uh, when are you thinking? Like, well, what if we did uh, say Monday at one o'clock or so? Would that work for you? Okay, this coming week. Uh, yeah. So next week, Monday, one okay. o'clock. At one o'clock. Okay, you want to call us that and then confirm it between now and then. And that yeah, way I know to be here. So what we'll do is we'll call you the day before the appointment, and then we'll text okay. message you a couple hours before, or give you a call a couple hours before, just to make sure that that would work. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Sounds good. So we'll get that going. All righty. Well, uh, thank you so much, John, for your time. And uh, uh, Chris Brott will be in touch with you from my real estate team. And then Andrew Surf from my wholesale division will be in touch with you as well. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, You're welcome, John. You have an amazing day. You too. Hey, thank you. Bye-bye. So hopefully you like that. Um, I was pretty stoked about that. I had somebody from, uh, Instagram asked me to make a video about that and it just worked out perfectly. So anyhow, uh, let me know if you have any questions.